Hey, baby, guess what? It's Christmas, and I am your personal <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my gosh. Spike, thank you. I love it. Mm-hmm. But guess what? That ain't all. Nope, nope, nope. Honey, check that out. Spike, my gosh. Uh, for me? Uh, wait, can we afford it? It must have cost a fortune. Hey, so what? Honey, there's nothing, nothing too good for my wife. Spike, you love me. Yes, sure. Oh. Yes, sure I do, baby. Sure I do. Hey! Hey! Am I late? Nope, you're right on time. Just finishing up my shift. So, what do you want to do tonight? I was thinking maybe stir fry at your place. That sounds good. Simone, wait! Look who's back! We're first <laughs> I was so happy to find out you'd come back. Yeah, I couldn't stay uh, way too long. I miss Paloma too much. Uh, it's great to see you, Roberto. <laughs> great to see you too. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Hey, we should all go and have dinner tonight. If you're not busy. We're not and busy. we have plans. Okay, what's going on? Is, is everything okay? It will be very soon. Miguel? Okay. It's me, Tabitha, up here. Tabitha, what are you doing up there? What did you do to Miguel? I, I froze him for a moment so you and I could talk. I don't have time to talk. If I want to break the mermaid's curse, I've got to get Miguel to make love to me so Foxy gets mad and tries to kill him. I wanted to tell you that Fox is on his way up here, so you're going to have to move fast. Oh, so you're helping me now. Hmm, why? Well, you know, I think this is a mistake. But since I can't stop you, I'd have to help you. And your time is running out, dear. You have got to do the third part of the spell before it's too late, or you're going to have to start all over again. So don't mince words. Just grab Miguel and do it. OK, OK, so go. <sighs> Okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna look over your case tonight, and I'm gonna file suit tomorrow. I won't let you down. I believe you. Thank you. You bet. Hey. Gwen, what are you doing here? No, never mind that. I saw you talking to Stuart Allen. What? <sighs> I was thinking about it, and I came up here to tell him that I've decided to take the case. You did. Honey, that is wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. What made you change your mind? Mr. Allen? Ethan's long gone. You all right? Guess so. Just, you know, hated that he, that he, that he, <laughs> He saw us like that. Yeah, it was uh, a little uncomfortable for all of us. Yeah. At least now Ethan knows the truth about us. Well, he was going to find out eventually, right? Yeah. Why do you think he was at the hotel anyway? Oh, who knows? I don't think he expected to see either one of us. No. No, he, he looked shocked, Jared. He... He looked pretty hurt. Uh, yeah. Yes, he did. Hey. Why don't you take yourself a nice little shower? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That would be a great little, like, a mess here. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. You're beautiful, miss. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? That that moment was spoiled. 
Well, the night's not over. Unless you want it to be. Fancy! That's Maria. I'll go. Clyde! How am I ever gonna finish the spell? So honey, what made you change your mind? And earlier today, you were so adamant about not going up against Crane. I know. I just had some time to think about it, and I came to the conclusion that Stuart Allen has a legitimate complaint. Crane is using his patented product without pain. Should be a slam dunk to get him what he's owed. This is, this is fabulous news. And you know, it could be really, really amazing for your career. I hope so. And I owe you a big apology. Because I was convinced you didn't want to take the case because you didn't want to hurt Teresa. But I take it back. I was wrong. I know this is all about business, but it has nothing to do with Teresa. Well, you look nice. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I called about having your clothes repaired, but they said they won't be ready till tomorrow morning. I don't suppose you want to stay the night. Well, don't have a choice. Can't go home in those. Well, you could call your personal assistant, have her send your limo driver to change of fresh clothes. Isn't that what you wealthy women do? I couldn't think of anything more humiliating. So you'll stay. Yeah. I guess so. Hey, if you're uh, you're still upset about Ethan seeing us making love, I could bring you home. Never treated me so special before. Hey, come here. I want you to remember that. Okay. I will. Hey, hey, what's wrong? Me. I have a confession to make. When you forced me to marry you in Rome, I hated you. The only reason I agreed to it was to protect my family. But I kept hoping that you really did have feelings for me. Hey, Jess. I do, I did. Honey, I tried to explain that to you, but you would never listen to me. You know? Listen to me, look at me. You're my girl. And you always will be. You know that, don't you? I know that now. It's like I know how much money means to you. And the fact that you're spending it on me. Like I thought I was kidding myself. I thought you were just using me. But <laughs> this, this shows me you really do love me.
I'd save that for later, okay? Because, honey, I got to go. Uh, wait, you do? Yeah, I do, because uh, you look too pretty to stay home tonight, honey. Look at you. <laughs> Woo. I'm taking you out, honey. Come on. You are? Absolutely, baby, because you know what? I want to show you off. You're beautiful. <laughs> I'm taking you out to dinner tonight, honey. Spike, you are so good to me. I love you so much. Come here, babe. Come here. I know you do, honey. I know you do. Are you uncomfortable going out on a double date with me? No. No. Simone, do you care if people talk? Yeah. I help with them. Sweetie, you can't live your life worrying about what other people think. Yeah, nobody cares if you're gay. And if they do, it says more about them than about you. She's right. We don't care. We love you. Yeah. And we want to spend more time with you. Let's go out to dinner. Please? OK. I guess you're right. I really can't worry about what other people think. I need to live my life. So yes, we would love to go out to dinner with you guys. Oh, bien. We'll have a great time. Come on, Miguel, where are you? We have to do this fast. Tap the said Fox is on his way up here. Oh, good, you're back. Fox. Back? I just got here. Th th that's what I meant. <laughs> My gosh, you are looking exceptionally ravishing this evening, Miss Bennett. I am? <laughs> yes, you are. You know, I was just with my father, and he was saying that I ought to be worried about you and Miguel. What, what, what do you mean? <sighs> Who cares? Well, Maria's... Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just make sure and shut the door on your way up. I didn't mean to interrupt, yeah. have happened it's the virus the witch's virus witches get it when things get out of control and unmanageable I suppose all this insanity with Fox and Miguel and Kay must have brought it on let's just hope it's a mild case tell me what do you see sweet pea oh, good good all right, just the spots. Well, they're the first symptom. If, if my voice starts to change or I start to float against my will, then I'm in big trouble. You don't want to know, sweet pea. <gasps> Mewling maggots. It's happening. I've got the dreaded virus. I'm doomed. You are my passion for life. I hated being so affected, you know. Even seeing us that way, it, it really upset me. Yeah, I know it did. I understand. You do. Well, yeah. You're trying to get over him, trying to move on, but you wanted them to find out in a gentler way. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Well, you were in love with Ethan for a long time. It's going to take you a long time to get over him. And what happened tonight, well, it was awkward for anyone. The fact that you showed you're so worried about Ethan just proves that you're a very caring person. Thank you. I appreciate you being so understanding. Well, I knew you were hung up on Ethan when we got together. And, uh, you'll move on, eventually. In the meantime, I don't think there's any reason why we can't enjoy each other, you. No, I don't. Mm -mm. So, do I call for some more champagne? Or should I call a car to pick you up? Order the champagne. I want to stay. No regrets? No regrets? 
<laughs> I'm going to move on. I swear I will. Aren't you glad I talked you into staying for dinner? Yes, this is very nice. It is. Nice. Honey, this is heaven. Jane is with a nanny. You and I can take a little mini vacation, just you and me alone for the whole night. This is going to be wonderful. It is wonderful. Sweetie? Mm. Um, isn't that Jessica? Uh, yeah, it is. With her worm of a husband. I can't believe my <laughs> half-sister is married to that scum. I don't know what kind of hold he has over her. I don't either, but he definitely has one. Spike, this is the nicest place you've ever taken me. This is the best night of my life. I am so happy. Yeah, it's good, baby. Look, um, I gotta make a call real quick, right? Okay, I'll miss you. <clears throat> Jessica, hi. Hi. <gasps> Jessica, you look beautiful. Thank you. Spike bought me this outfit, and look at this. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Spike is so good to me. I don't deserve him. No, you don't. You deserve somebody a lot better than him. Yeah, he's so bum. He uses you, Jessica. No, he's not doing that anymore. He's really different now. He loves me. Hey, hey Tony, what's up, man? I thought that was you. Yeah, you knew it was me, and you knew I was looking for you, so you tried to run. No, man, first of all, take it easy. The merchandise, okay? I <laughs> want my money, dirtbag. I ain't got your money. Yeah, well, you better find a way to get it, or you're a dead man. Wait. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I gotta get some ice cream. <laughs> ice cream? Yeah. Ice cream right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I really want some. You think you could get me some, please? Uh, okay, if you really think you need some ice cream right now. I guess I'll go get you some ice cream. Thank you. But don't go anywhere, okay? What am I gonna do? That's a very good question. Oh, Tabitha, good night. You scared me half to death. Oh God, Tabitha, what, what happened to your face? Why do you have all those little purple spots? Ooh, your voice sounds really weird. I've got the witch's virus, and it's your fault. My fault? Yes. At the moment, my voice is just going in and out, but if I don't get this virus cured soon, then I could sound like Al Roker for the rest of my days. Ooh, well, how, how did I cause this virus? I, I, I think it's all this insanity with Fox and Miguel. I haven't had this virus myself before, but I've seen others with it, and it's no picnic, I can assure you. Well, what are you gonna do? I mean, you, seriously, you can't go out like that. No, no, I, I, I have to go away and get cured. But first, I, I wanted to see that everything's on the right track with you. I don't know how things are going to get on the right track now, OK? Miguel probably thinks I'm nuts. Here, I'm trying to kiss him, and then he walks in on me kissing Fox. How am I going to get rid of Fox and get Miguel back up here? I don't know, dear. But I told you Miguel was going to get hurt. But. And Dora had a brilliant idea. She suggested that we find a spell that will erase your seduction from Miguel's memory. Oh my god, that's a great idea! Do you think that we can cast the same spell on Fox to make him forget about seeing me with Miguel? No, 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 I can't do that. Because if I did, then uh, he would go right back to being under that mermaid's influence. <sighs> well. At least we can make sure that Miguel forgets, right? Yes, yes, if I can find the right spell. But with this damn virus, my powers are very diminished. Oh, Tabitha, this is terrible. Yes, 
If you only knew. Hey. Bob. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I wanted to talk to you. You know, see how your mother's doing. Haven't you been to the hospital to see her? I tried. She wouldn't let me see her. No surprise there, huh? Mm. <laughs> well, she's still weak. But the doctors are encouraged by her progress. Thank God. You know, I really do want to talk to her. I, I wish that I could convince her that I love her. She's convinced you still love Catherine. Yeah, I, I will always love Catherine, son. We spent too many years together. But your mother is my wife. And I really do want to spend the rest of my life with her. Why does love have to be so hard? Are you talking about charity? No. Okay. Really? Things have changed since I came back. I want to be with Kay. I want us to be a family. I just don't get her sometimes. I mean, one minute she makes me feel like she's still in love with me, and the next she's all over Fox. I just don't get it. Mm. All right, hold on a second there. Are you telling me that you faked being drowned? Was it some kind of a game? Actually, I thought of it as a practice drill. A what? Oh, come on, Luis, don't be mad. When I heard the rule about officers not being allowed to socialize with cadets, I had to think of a way to get you over here. I mean, come on. Man, scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry. But I did learn a rescue technique. So it, it's really work-related. And if you happen to be a little bit hungry. What? Oh my god. <laughs> you totally set me up. Not exactly, but I did want everything to be perfect. I almost had a heart attack when I saw the staff had brought domestic champagne, so I had them replace it immediately with French. I mean, you have to admit, it was one very creative way to get around your silly little rule. You. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's for creative. <laughs> You're unbelievable, you know that? Well, so are you, Luis. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> Siren was right. I'm never going to be able to complete that third part of the spell to take the mermaid's curse off Fox. Yes, but if you don't, he will never be able to love another mortal woman. You have to stop Siren from doing it to Miguel, or, or any other man for that matter. I know the problem, Tabitha, and I know how to fix it. But if I can't get Miguel up here in a compromising position so Fox can see us and get jealous, then both of their lives are doomed. I'll do what I can to help you, Kay, but as I said, this virus is, is, is causing me to lose my powers. Oh, God, and your hair. And my hair. My hair? Am I losing my hair? No. My God, it's, it's, it's changing colors. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, more symptoms. Oh, no. No, oh, I'm running out of time. I, I, I've got to go and get this virus cured. I, I, I've got to go, quickly. No, 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 no. You can't go until you help me. Yes, right, all right. Um, well, you focus on uh, uh, getting Fox to walk in on you and Miguel, and I will focus on trying to find a spell that will erase Miguel's memory. But I, 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 I can't guarantee anything, understand? Yes, yes, just do your best and hurry. We don't have a lot of time. If I don't complete this third part of the spell soon, Fox and Miguel are doomed. Yeah. They're not the only ones. Do you think that Kay is aware of the mixed signal she's sending you? She has to be, Papa. I mean, she was looking all hot and sexy and dragged me into a room and was about to kiss me when Maria cried. All I did was check on Maria, and when I came back, she was kissing Fox. 
Well, she's obviously very confused about her feelings. She was in love with you for a very long time, son, and then you went to look for charity and she moved on with Fox. Then again, now you're back, and all the feelings she had for you have surfaced. Papa, I made a mistake to leave Kay and our baby. A big mistake. I just wish I knew how to let her know that she's the one I want to be with. You tell her, that's how. You know, that's what Mama said. She did? Yeah. She said if I loved her, I should fight for her. Yeah, well, you know, she's right. I mean, what's, uh, what's that old saying? Uh, a faint heart never won fair lady. You think about that. Miguel! Kay wants to see you up in her room. Tabitha? What's wrong with your voice? Oh, well, I, I think I'm catching a cold, dear. Uh, Kay asked me to send for you. OK, I, I'll be right up. Where's Fox? But where's Fox? Oh, I don't know, but Kay's alone in her room. Don't come in the living room, dear. I, I don't want you to catch this cold. OK. <laughs> it's good to see you, Papa. And the same. Wish me luck. Good luck, son. Keep me posted. Now I've got to work on this other spell. And make Miguel forget that he was seduced by Kay. Otherwise, this could all blow up in her face. Oh, somebody's already using the pool. Who is it? I don't know. No, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's like going right to my head. So, some more champagne? <laughs> Are you trying to take advantage of me, Jared? I wouldn't dream of it. I'm an employee. Oh. I could be construed as sexual harassment. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Since I'm your boss, doesn't that mean that I have to harass you? Hmm. Go back to law school there. That's a fine legal point. I think I might have to sue myself. Mm. How about we uh, dance instead? Okay. Okay? That's good. Wait. Cool. Hold up. Yeah. I'm coming. Dance by myself. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hmm. What's going on? Looks like there's a power failure. Do you think that the whole hotel is dark? Oh, let me see if I can find some more candles. Okay, be careful. I will. I knew I shouldn't have had that last glass of champagne. I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? We shouldn't stay here much longer anyway. Well, you know what? I have a surprise for you. I booked us a room. Here? Yes, here. Honey, I think it would be wonderful for us to stay here and have the whole night to ourselves. Jane is with the nanny. And you've had a little bit too much to drink anyway to be mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can, because I told Stuart Allen I would work on his case tonight. I... Well, we can work on that tomorrow, and I'm going to help you. <sighs> I think it would be really nice for us to have a night together, you know, before we get really deep into this case. 
Okay, please. All right. All right. All right. Oh, well, great. Well, I'm going to go up. I'm going to get the room ready. So you just give me 10 minutes, and I want you to meet me in room 538. Mm. Okay? Mm. Okay. See you there. That's all the cash I got right now. It's a start, but you owe me a bundle, Spike. How do you plan to pay me the rest? You know, I think I got another way, a better way to pay you back. What other way? What? You see that girl in there? I, she's yours for the whole night. And she'll do whatever you want to do, amen. She likes it rough. And I'm talking real rough. She's OK. I like that ice that she's wearing, too. Cool. Take it. The ice is yours. I have to grow on the ice. What? That's going to even us up, right? OK. But she better be worth it. Oh, she'll be worth it. Absolutely. There you go, sweetie. It's good. Tabitha? Is that you? Uh, yes, dear. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of a hornet's nest in the back yard. Oh. Wow. Well, I just came downstairs to get a case of ice cream, but a little Dora wanted some, so I gave it to her. I hope that's OK. Oh, yes. That's OK. <laughs> yes, she had a healthy dinner. What's, what's wrong with your voice? Are you okay? Oh, I, 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 I'm scratchy throat. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. <clears throat> oh, okay, well, I better get this ice cream back upstairs to Kay before it melts. I hope you feel better. Already and oh, please let this be Miguel. <sighs> Come in. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Tabitha said you wanted to see me about something. Yes, this. This is it, Endora. Fox is about to walk in on his fiance in Miguel's arms, and I can tell you he will explode. Oh, I just hope there's going to be someone around who'll be able to stop him before he actually kills Miguel. I'm sorry, sweet pea, it's this vexatious virus. Mummy has to go away and get cured. But, but I can't go until I have got this spell right that is going to make Miguel forget that he was seduced by Kay. Oh. Oh, no. No. The virus is getting worse. I've got to act fast. Oh. Who knows what will happen next? I wonder what happened to Spike. I gotta go look for him. Hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Too bad that the lights went out. I guess they can't cook too well in the dark. Mm. At least we got our salads. We have to come back some other day. I was ready for steak. Good idea. Well, I'll come back. Now, if I didn't know any better, I'd think that you arranged this blackout so no one would see us together. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what I did. <laughs> I'm glad that we're here together. Me too. And I don't care who sees us together. Spike? Are you out here? No. 
know, but I am. Let me go! Yeah. Oh, Ergie liked it rough. So that's how I'm gonna give it to you. Nice and rough. Just be a good girl, give Tony what he wants. I need the money, don't I? How else can I buy you nice stuff if I don't keep the cash? Oh, you wanna leave? Yes, they obviously wanna be left alone. Get some candles so I can find the housekeeper's office. I wonder what's taking Ethan so long. When left the door open. She's already in bed. September 18th. Want to get lucky? 